Hey, what's up guys? Auto Fanatic. So I'm going to shoot a video today for you guys. If you guys follow my channel, you know that I did a video almost two years ago on the RV inline Camco filters. Thousands of people have thanked me because this really, really helped with water spotting and with the intensity of the foam in a foam cannon. So a lot of people have been asking, oh, what's the TDS? It's, it's not that. Everybody's water supply is going to be different. And what I want to talk to you about today, and I'm going to show you, we're going to do a before and after test. Being that I'm changing my filter today, if you look over in the far corner of my water supply, there's no filter on the spigot. So we're going to do a before without it. And with the brand new filter, I'm going to show you how to install the filter, also clear it out. So this is a carbon filter. So just to show you what exactly this is going to do, you're going to remove aluminum, bacteria, bad taste, cadmium, chlorine. Now for me, where I live, I had the Culligan company come and we have some water filtration systems in the house. The chlorine was nine times higher than it actually should be. So chlorine, what does it do when you're in the shower? It dries out your skin, dries out your hair, and it also causes skin reactions and rashes. So excess chlorine that I found not only causes premature corrosion, water spots, and less foam. Now we got, we're going to remove the chlorine. We're going to remove heavy metals, iron, lead, and mercury. Now, according to my local water supply, the iron, the lead, and the mercury is pretty damn high. So according to my particular use of these filters i change these every month now the filters that we have inside the house for drinking water uh we change those every three to five weeks as well because there's so much crap in the water supply you have old old cast iron pipes and everything just gets drawn in clogs up the filters and what happens in the house we lose water flow at the sink and at everywhere else in the house so today we're going to just be using the auto 007 snowstorm as a demo we're going to be using the mtm pf22 the Kranzler 1322, which is already set up. You can see that right there. And uh, we're going to foam up my Alfa Romeo, which is black. So you're going to be able to see the contrast before and after. So let's get started right now. All right, now. guys. So this is going to be the first part of the demonstration. MTM PF22, Auto Fanatic 007 Snowstorm, SG28, the Kranzler 1322, no Camco water filter. So you're going to see the difference. I know I noticed the difference between both. So let's go. You can definitely see how thin that it is, right? That's from the chlorine and all the crap that's in our water. Get closer if you can. I got it pretty close. You got it down there? Mm -hmm. Just so you can see the intensity. I mean, realistically, you'll still get the job done. Doesn't really matter. But I found for my water supply, well, my extensively high chlorine, iron, and other minerals, you can see, like I said, it foams the car up, that's not an issue, but it's a much thinner foam, a much wetter foam. So if you guys are looking for the maximum snow foam, definitely, uh, if you have some issues now with your pressure washer or your water supply, definitely think of a Camco RV filter. So this is the first part of the demonstration. We're gonna switch it. We're gonna put the brand new filter on the, the pressure line right now. We're gonna spin the car around. We're gonna do the other side of the car. And I'm also gonna show you after I rinse off the fact that I'm doing this in direct sun and there's not a single water spot on the car. That's also another improvement that a lot of you guys have been reporting back to me. No water spots. And that's definitely a bonus, especially when washing the car. Spring, summer months, it's warm out. You guys down in Texas and Florida, this is definitely a must have you can see how thin out it, it's getting on the car but it's still staying on the car because it's good soap all right guys so now we're going to install the new camco filter on my line just like i show you here so make sure you turn off the water and the way i install it on my feed this is my shorter hose that goes to the pressure washers so i screw this directly into my water spigot it just makes it a little bit easier just like that Make sure it's tight. You don't want to have any pressure differential drops. Okay. And then we take my quick disconnect right here. And uh, we're just going to screw it in on the bottom. Then what you got to do is you have to purge the filter. And I'm going to show you real quick exactly what that means. You got to turn the water supply on. And we're going to just do this through the MTM SG28. So you're going to see black come out of here. Watch. Give it a second. Now, 
And I usually let this run for five to 10 minutes, always when I install a new carbon filter. Put that down to the side and you can see here, there's the filter connected. So I'm just gonna move the car around. I'm gonna flip it around and uh, we wanna do the demonstration on a dry side of the car. So let's do that right now. So like I said, foam can, everything is the same. Nothing's changed except the inclusion of the new water filter. So let's just see. Got to turn the water back on so here we go So you guys can see it's definitely a bit thick. So you guys can see it there. The, uh, there's been a couple of minutes and the foam is staying on the car a lot longer. That's just because it's a bit thicker. And you can see in the foam runoff how thick that is. So I'm gonna pull the camera back. We'll hit it again. I'll just give it a few more shots. Try to empty out the reservoir. that's with the filter and I'm sure you guys could see this in the video and I'll probably see it in editing and I'll try to do uh, before and after clips so you guys could kind of see what it's doing but definitely check out the Camco filters it's uh, 17 bucks on Amazon it'll be linked in the description below try them out let me know how you guys like them remember chlorine and some of the heavy metals are a big reason why you guys get water spots and really bad foam but like I said also Get good equipment, good foam cannon, good pressure washer, good GPMs, and uh, I think you'll be really happy with your setup. But if you guys are having problems with foam, no matter what soap you're using, and water spotting, and you don't want to afford or can't afford an expensive deionizing system, uh, definitely try these things out. I mean, you can't beat it. It's under 20 bucks, and I think you guys are going to see a big improvement. So stay tuned to the channel for more content. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys on the next video real soon. Take care. So I just want to show you guys, too, this is in direct sun. 65 degrees out, there's no worry of water spotting at all. So I'm just gonna take a PFM towel. I'll show you guys right there. No water spots whatsoever. That's another advantage of the Camco filters is that you could kind of do it in direct sun and not stress out about it. And my car is black and you can see it there. There's just no water spotting on the car at all and I'm taking my time doing my wash. So I just wanted to throw that, uh, this other clip in this video as well. Stay tuned, I'll see you guys for more content.